Hey everyone, it has been a couple of months now since my last video. I have just been working a lot and being lazy basically. Um, but yeah, I still have been accumulating quite a few um, DVDs, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that kind of stuff and more collectibles as well, which I'll do in another video to show you guys those. Cause I started buying collectibles to sort of make my, you know, decorate my um, girl cave here. But um, it kind of got out of hand because I bought a lot of collectibles. So I'll show those in a different video. But for this one, I wanted to show you um, a lot of the stuff I got yesterday and then a few days before that because um, JB Hi-Fi are doing a 20% off sale at the moment along with a big clearance of DVDs. And when I say big clearance, I mean some of these DVDs are like two bucks for a, a season of a show. And that's crazy. So I bought quite a few things. So I'm going to take you through that. There is quite a lot here. Um, so this is going to be a lengthy video. So um, yeah, hopefully it doesn't bore you to death. I'll actually show you uh, this one here first. Um, this one here I bought off eBay. I forgot about this one. Um, I bought it a few, ba few days back. It was really fast shipping because it was local to me. And um, yeah, it's seasons one and two of the Lizzie McGuire show. I loved this show growing up. And as soon as I saw this, I was just like, I, th I think I paid like um, $19 for this. Uh, and it was just nostalgia overload for me. So um, yeah, I grabbed it. And it comes in this really cool DVD wallet kind of thing. And you open it up and it is just like a DVD wallet. Um, it's a, an official one. It's not like a bootleg or anything. And it's got all the DVDs in there um, with all the season one and two. Um, you can go on eBay and there is quite a few listings on there for seasons one and two, but they're really expensive. I went through them all before I bought it. Um, this is the collector's booklet that this comes with, and it's got some um, some really nice pictures in there of um, Lizzie McGuire, Hilary Duff, whatever, however you want to know her by. Um, yeah, I love this show growing up. I can't wait to watch this, but I'm currently watching um, a TV series, and it's it's a TV series that's got me kind of hooked, so I can't like watch anything else until I finish it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this because I just think it's such a cool, cool thing. Like it's, I, I don't think I've ever seen um dvd a tv show or anything like that presented like this in a you know like a cd wallet it's pretty cool and that it comes with its box the box is a little bit beat up but it's um it's pretty cool otherwise so there's that now to the jb hi-fi stuff now i first became aware of the sale when i was actually at work and i was scanning stuff marking it down or up in price whatever it might be and um i got to this one here and this scanned is like two dollars fifty and it was like, used to be like 35 bucks. And I was like, holy crap. So um, being a documentary fan, I picked this one up. It's basically um, just from a little bit before the shooting to, um, you know, quite a bit of time after the shooting. It's basically nonstop video and uh, video footage of, you know, that time period. And I thought that was pretty cool. I only watched about half an hour of it before I got bored and switched to something else. But um, for like two-ish dollars, I think I paid, um, that's not bad. At the same time, I also found these, The Curse of Oak Island. This is the TV series that I'm currently watching, and I'm on season eight now. So I'm um, quite a bit way through it, and I think there's only like eight or nine seasons. And um, yeah, I picked these up because these were like $1.50 each for each um, season. Season six and seasons five. So um, I grabbed those ones because it, it just seemed really cool. It's about a treasure hunt on an island, you know, treasure that was buried like ages ago. And um, I love that kind of stuff. And it is an awesome show. If you haven't seen this, I do recommend it. It has got me hooked. So I can't watch anything else until I finish this. You know, I'm actually like annoyed that I have to go to sleep and excited to wake up just so I can keep watching it. That's how good it is. But um, I also had to visit like, cause that season's um, five and six. So I had to hunt down this box set at another JB Hi-Fi just so I could start watching it. So this is seasons one to three. I think I paid like $5 for this box set because it was part of the sale. Um, oh, hang on, no, this was, this was $4 and I, pay, I paid like $3.50. Yeah, I think, so. I think I paid like $3.50 for this. So that was awesome. So I grabbed that and I also had um, this one, season four, which I wasn't expecting them to have. So um, yeah, that was awesome. This one here is still sealed because um, the one that I bought that day, uh, I got home I dropped the season four disc and it got all scratched up and stuff. I, I was still able to watch it, but it just annoyed me that it was scratched. So yesterday when I was at a JB Hi-Fi, they had this copy sitting there and I was just like, it cost me like $1.80 um, to grab this. And I was thinking, the one I have at home is all scratched up and that's just annoyed me. And I'm never gonna find this again for $1.80. 
So um, yeah, I, I picked that one up. So yeah, I have um, seasons all the way to one to six and I had to download the rest of the seasons because I can't find them anywhere. I looked online, you can get them on eBay, but they are ridiculously expensive, like ridiculously expensive. So I've downloaded the rest of them and um, eventually, hopefully I'll be able to complete the DVD collection. But until then, I'm just happy to be able to watch it. Several generations risked life and limb and died looking for something here on Oak Island. Here we are, borehole 10X. My brother and I want to see just what is down there. Here we have um, Robbie Coltrane's Critical Evidence. He's the guy who plays Hagrid in Harry Potter. Um, this is seasons one and two, is it? Yeah, seasons one to two. So I grabbed that one as well because, um, you know, as I said, I love this. I love these um, types of things. Um, like this cell couldn't be more any more perfect for me because these are mostly documentaries and I love documentaries. I love learning things and then forgetting about them straight after. Like the amount of documentaries I watched last year and then forgot most of what I watched, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I, it makes me feel smart for like all of a second before I forget what I just learned. So it's, um, it's pretty cool. Next is Hangar 1, The UFO Files. Um, I had put this in my cart online, I was gonna buy it online, but then it disappeared, assuming it sold out online. So um, luckily I found that at a, at a JB Hi-Fi. So um, yeah, that was pretty awesome. I think I paid like $4 for this. So um, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to watching that. I don't know how well that's showing. Also at the same store, um, UFO Secrets Collector's Edition. Most of what I actually bought is all History Channel, so it's all quality stuff. I don't know, depending on what your definition of quality is. Um, I consider this quality. This is quality entertainment at the very least. But um, I tend to believe some of it. Most of it I don't believe because they just get anyone on there. It's just like anybody who witnessed a UFO, they'll interview them and you know say, oh, this is an eyewitness. And it's just like, they're an eyewitness. It doesn't mean they're not bullshitting. You know what I mean? Um, next is Skywalker Ranch. Um, I watched a UFO documentary that this was mentioned in. So that's why I bought it. Um, a little more expensive than the rest. I think um, I paid like $6 for this one. But um, yeah, just a ranch that had a lot of UFO mystery stuff happening on it. Um, the Unexplained with William Shatner, 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 yeah. That dude from, um, what's he from again? Star Trek or something? I can't remember. I know he's from uh, Boston Legal. And we have Hero Ships. So some of this stuff I'm really looking forward to watching. Some of it I just got because it was cheap and it's a documentary that I may like. Trains Unlimited Collector's Edition. Um, Inside Air Force One 9-11. Um, I think I watched this documentary on YouTube if it's the same one. It's basically about the day of 9-11 and how the president was on board Air Force One and everything that happened during that day on the plane. Um, I think, I, like I've seen a documentary on YouTube, I'm not sure if it's the same one, but it was cheap, so I picked that one up too. World's Greatest Guns. I'm a bit of a redneck when it comes to guns, so don't hate me for it. Um, Navy Seals Ultimate Collector's Edition. Yeah, this one here, um, I, I got it just because it was cheap. It was like three fifty, or something like that. And um, yeah, it was it was cheap, cheap content basically. And so I picked it up. I don't know how entertaining it's going to be because I watched a uh, documentary on YouTube once about Navy Seal training, and it was all right, but it wasn't great. But it was cheap, so I bought it anyway. Unidentified Inside America's UFO Investigation, Seasons 1 and 2. This is another one that disappeared from my cart, so I picked it up. The Curse of Civil War Gold. Um, I'm going to have to find Season 1. This is Season 2, so I'm going to have to find Season 1, because uh, Marty, Rick and Marty um, 
the people that are in the Curse of Oak Island documentary that I'm watching now, that is awesome. Um, they're in this one too. This is a thing they're doing as well. So I had to get this one. Um, but yeah, I have to find season one first before I can actually start watching it. So um, yeah, it's about the Curse of the Civil War Gold. Uh, yeah. The Dark Files. Um, this one here, um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know much about it. I don't know if I've ever heard of it. I don't know anything really about it. I just got it because it was again cheap, and I figured I'd give it a go. Basically, about an abandoned military base and you know a bunch of crap that happened there. So um, that sort of stuff is right down my alley. So I grabbed it. Next is American Pickers Double Pack Season One and se Season One Collection Two. So um, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, I've ordered a bunch of these online, not the seasons, just random DVDs that they had on there for like two bucks, so I grabbed them. So uh, hopefully I'll, re I'll actually receive them. And now we have a couple of movies um, that I bought. I got this one. Uh, these were just 20% off. These weren't like a sale or anything. Um, so I got Suicide Squad. It's a nice steel book of the animated movie. Let me just open it up. So there's the front. There's the back. And there's that one. I made the mistake of not checking the sticker on this one. Um, I thought it was like 12 bucks because I had... Uh, actually, no. The sticker said $12, but it was actually $18. Someone just didn't, didn't change the price on it. And I made the mistake of not checking the receipt when I was checking out. So, um, yeah, uh, I think uh, with 20% off, I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. Plus the staff discount brought about down to about 12-ish dollars, I think. So I really didn't get anything off it based on the sticker price, but 12 bucks. It is still one of the nicer looking steel books that I've seen. So I'll show you the inside. So yeah, I'm actually looking forward to watching this. And lastly, we have X-Men Origins Wolverine Blu-ray. This is a special edition version with a uh, reprint of the original 1982 Wolverine comic. And I've already read that. That was pretty awesome. So this one here was like literally six bucks or something. It's old stock. And I love finding um, old stock at JB's of stuff that I've just had left over of, of this kind of stuff. So um, I already have this on Blu-ray, but this came with the comic. So um, yeah, I figured... That is awesome, I'm getting that. Well, it came with the comic and this kind of metallic slipcase. So this is the uh, mini comic. And I think it's like a one-to-one, -one. like like on the inside, I think it's like all the same as the original one. It even has like posters at the back. That you can, like, I guess some kids would cut out of the actual comic book. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, um, that is it. That actually didn't take as long as I thought. Um, I didn't go into too much detail because you can always Google it. Um, and I haven't watched most of it, so I can't really talk about it. Other than the Oak Island ones. Like, as I said, these Oak Island ones, let me find it. That actually took me a little bit to find this. Um, I can't say enough good things about this show. If you haven't seen it and you're into documentaries or like UFOs and unexplained phenomenon and um, conspiracy theories and treasure hunts and stuff like that, this will be right down your alley. So um, yeah, if you can grab, get, a hold, get a hold of it, um, yeah, you really should, it is really entertaining. I mean, I won't lie, there are times where I've had to like skip through bits because they keep bringing in these people who have all these different theories and it, I, I'm guessing it's just to put more content into the show because it kind of fits with what they're talking about, but it kind of drags on a bit. So some of the things I've had to skip through and just get back to their main treasure hunt. But um, other than that, this is a brilliant show. I'm absolutely loving it. So yeah. So um, that is all I've got to show you guys. Uh, as I said, really didn't take as long as I thought it would. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sorry if you wanted a more detailed look at them, um, but yeah, there's just a lot there and it would take way too long to go through each one individually, open the box and show the covers and stuff like that. Um, if you really want that, let me know in the comments and I may do a more detailed review of a couple of them, I guess. But um, 
If not, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I am going to leave it here. Uh, as I said, I will do another video in the future showing my collectibles because I got some really awesome stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. Till next time, ciao for now.